Oh, it's funny. Uh, he never seen me perform all these years I've been playing. Last summer, uh, I think it was last summer, I was playing uh, some place in Illinois. I can't even remember the name of the place. But we were playing with Skid Row. Uh, that's when I was in Adler's Appetite. We were doing the Guns N' Roses songs. And my dad got to come out and see me perform. And it just so happened it was a hockey arena. It was maybe five, 7,000 people. It was sold out. So this is the very first time he'd ever seen me perform. So after uh, playing to a sold out, I mean, it's still small, but uh, relatively good sized venue, he came onto the bus afterwards and he, he looked at me and just smiled, shook his head, and he goes, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, unfortunately, my mom passed away about eight years ago, but she was able to see me in one of the side acts I was in. So she got to see me on a big stage with a record deal. And so she was she was always really proud of me and supportive. And my, my dad's always been a huge fan, too. He just wanted me to be able to go on a path where I'd be able to succeed and, and just be happy in the process. And, you know, he sees me like that every time. He lives in Vegas now and luckily get to see him on... Uh, on Valentine's Day again and you know he's just always happy to see me up on stage he's proud he tells all his friends about all the different bands that I've been in and you know he'll play them the music he has all the CDs of everyone I've played with and he's, he's just a really happy guy and my, like I said my mom was as well and she was a huge musical influence on me because she was an amazing singer uh, at home and at church and just an amazing piano player and I learned so much from her and I learned a lot from both of them and, and you know and they, they've just they've showed me that support and love over the years and that's the reason I'm able to do this without any sort of guilty conscience you know? my mom same way she was she was and is a singer she I mean she sings at her church and stuff and she's you know, to this day, is still so supportive, and she's she's never not believed in me. And um, my dad, uh, he, he passed away a few years ago, but uh, the first time he ever saw me play, we were playing at this huge amphitheater, opening up for Leonard Skinner, a band that I'd just gotten a record deal with, Atlantic Records, and and uh, my dad was always drunk, but happy drunk or whatever. So put him on like the third row. And he loves Skinner, so he's there and he's just screaming the whole time, that's my boy, you know, with his beer up in the air. But the crazy thing is, is right after we were done playing, keep in mind this is the first day of the Skinner tour, so nobody knows, nobody knows who Jacob Bunton is, they just know that the, the, the band Wish, which turned into Mars Electric, was the, uh, was the opening band. So the show's over, not the show, we're done, Skinner hasn't gone on yet. My dad goes to the backstage gate and he goes, the security guy stops him and my dad goes, Jacob Bunton's my son. And the security guy goes, who? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, Jacob Bunton. And he's, and he's drunk as hell. He pulls out his wallet to show that it's David Bunton is his name. And the guy goes, look, I don't care who you are. My dad rares back, Whoa. punches the guy, knocks the security guy out. Awesome. Uh, true story, at the Skinner show. Opens the backstage gate, starts walking. All these other security guys come and tackle him. The promoter for the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater comes running up. So some guy is yelling, saying that he's your dad. Are you Jacob? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, is your dad, is his name David Bunton? And I'm like, going, oh, God, what's going on? <laughs> and about that time, I see my dad, like, walking with people, like, like tackling him and stuff, going, hey, boy, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> and like, so I, I, I run over, and I'm like, what did you do? And he's like, he's like they, they wasn't going to let me back here. You're my boy. I wanted to say I'm proud of you. And I'm like, well, you can't be beating people up. And like, <laughs> come back but anyway uh, that was uh, that was the first time that I, I think that was the first and last time my dad ever saw a show but he did get to see my band play before he died. <laughs>